mention off the top, this book done in 2018, Tiger's magical win at the Masters in 2019, his car crash in 2021, and then amazing return to the Masters this year in 2022. Has your perception of Tiger changed um, since you did this book in, in 2000? Yeah, I think it has. I think, you know, we, Jeff and I became, um, I think our book, you know, comes out in 2018. Um, we didn't really know where he was going. We had hints that he was coming back and 19 was magical. So when the paperback came out, we had the, you know, we were right on top of his, um, his win at the masters. I think he's, I think what he, what we witnessed in this year's masters is his greatest triumph ever. Um, to be able to play four days, to shoot one under on Thursday, to make the cut on Friday, he finally fell victim, I think, to just pure fatigue and walking the Augusta National. But you talk about a, a you know, a comeback in a moment and watching people on the, I watched it, the 16th um, green, the, the 18th green standing ovations for a guy that was gonna finish near the bottom of the, of the list. It's just an extraordinary achievement. And I think he's in the best place personally in his life that he's ever been. He's more grateful. He's more um, appreciative. He's more open. Um, and you know, Chris, he's 46 years old, 47, 46 years old. He's lived four or five lifetimes, you know, and if this next two or three lifetimes for him are this kind of joy in his life, you know, God bless him, because I think he's given us more joy than we can ever expect. And he's paid a serious price for it. But now he's got, I think um, he's in the place in his life with his friends and fellow tour pros that he's never been in before. And, and you know, as I said, God bless him for it.